Live from the WTC studios in Milton, Pennsylvania, it's the nearly famous CB show starring Chris Hatton and Brandon Kozer. And now, here are the stars of the show, Chris and Brandon. Well, here we are, uh, New Year, New Year, 2022. Here we are, New Year, same focus. Yeah, right all right, let's do it. Let's do it. What are we at? What are we uh, doing? Well, um, you how, know, how I, was your holiday? Yeah, let's talk about let's that. New Year's Eve. Uh, I didn't see the ball drop. What? Didn't make it. That's okay. <laughs> it is. I really. That's okay. Yeah, I, That's it was. Uh, but I could say on the New Year's holiday, I did have my pork and sauerkraut. Good. Yeah. Good. I did not. Yeah. Um, I had pork the next day, but not the day of. Do you like sauerkraut? I do. I yeah. do like sauerkraut. It's very, especially, uh, there's certain kinds, but mm. for the most part, sauerkraut as a whole is. But uh, good family time? Yeah, it was great. Hey, let's talk about something else that's probably most important. So you, you made fun of me and my New Year's resolution that I started a week earlier. Yes. And you gave up. And I'm that. sure many of the audience have started some New Year's resolution that probably hadn't by the time the show airs. But <laughs> hey, let's talk about yours. How's it going? It's going good. I um, saw you on day one out <laughs> going for a good walk. My, my little walk with yeah. Tony. Tony yeah. and I, yep, started walking this week. Uh, That's good. You know, and uh, it's going good. I got my water jug right there, you know, mm -hmm. put a little lemon in there, spice it up a little bit so it's just not plain water. But you're still going strong? Yeah, I'm doing all right. <laughs> Okay. Doing all right. All right. You know, all it's right. about healthy habits. It is. It is. You know the best thing about diets? <laughs> <laughs> you can always start a new one tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> healthy habits. But so, so I guess my more so my focus necessarily. It's just that, you know, I, yeah, everybody wants instant gratification, yes, that's right? Issue. It's not yeah. going to be it's that not, way. You got to no. become the realization that. Long, you guys change lifestyle. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. for, And, you know, maybe somebody else has got some other, you know, New Year's Eve resolution they, they dreamt up and. You know, we wish you luck, you know? Yes, absolutely. Good yeah. luck from us here at the CB Show. And let you're us right. know how you do it if you're successful. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, but other than that, uh, you know, I guess let's get right into our favorite subject. The Weekly Update. All right, All right here we are. Well, uh, this week, good week. Yeah. Real good week. Uh, Why is that? We got four guys. Ooh. Ooh. Starting off strong. Starting off strong. Starting off strong. However, yeah. we can, you know, we'll, we'll wipe off the uh, scoreboard and uh, start again with 21. Mm -hmm. Virginia has two. Okay. Pennsylvania only has one, and uh, New York actually pulled in one this week. Ah, so, you know, uh, we have George and Ryan from Virginia. We have Homer from PA and James from New York. So, welcome, guys. You know, yeah, glad to welcome. have you. Yeah, good, group of, good group of guys this week. They're yeah. definitely uh, different ends of the spectrum, but, uh, you know, hey. You know, there's some weeks, you know, I know we, we highlight, I, I mean, meaning to say this, and I'm sure that, you know, we have big following at Patent Warehousing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One of the things we might have to add in 22 is who's I mean, joined we, the team. Yeah, on, yeah, we should do that. We should. I think we feel like we're sliding them. We a can bit. check that out. It's each all about week. Watson Town here, you know. Yeah, it is a CB show. CB's CB, but, but you know, hey, we're a company. Yeah, that's we're right. family. Family. So company. we'll reach out. We'll, starting next week. Yeah. Starting next week, any any additions, and we'll uh, we'll bring them. But not take any way away from the no. floor that joined yeah. us this week. That's awesome. Absolutely. You know, but yeah. uh, you know, when we talk about uh, this team, we got to. I think we got to next week. We'll start that. Yeah. So um. I have one. It's kind of a only Chris trivia. Ooh. So I got a number here. I'm gonna th we're gonna throw a number up here. Number is thirty-one million seven twenty-seven zero eight five. Okay. What does Chris Patton think that number is? That's the number of total miles we drove this year. That is the number of last year. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, that is. It's the number of total miles driven. And, uh, you know, there's a whole calculator Ooh, thing. You know, you yeah. multiply this and we'll see what our crash frequency is. Yeah. We had 72 reportables. How many? Seven Ooh. in the year of 2021. Of and uh, so our crash uh, frequency is 0.22 okay. per million mile. Ooh. That's really, That's really, really, really good. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I wanted to really bring that up and congratulate everybody Absolutely. out there. You know, you, all the hard work, and we know how crazy it is out there and how quick things can happen. But, uh, yeah, it's a great year. Um, you know, my job, obviously, is always to get better. Mm -hmm. So we're yeah, shooting yeah. to work together and get better at that. It's a tough number, but I, I confidently feel we can do it. Absolutely. And I think one of the things, too, we got to talk about, uh, you know, adding on to that, because 
I know this week there's been some weather yes. you know, down in Virginia. Yes. There's some weather hitting the Pennsylvania and obviously out west. That's uh, and it's, it's hitting crazy country. areas. Yeah. yeah. It's real early for Virginia. Yeah, I heard Florida has some snow. Yeah, <laughs> so always check the weather. Check the yeah. forecast, especially this time of year. You just never know what's going to pop up wherever you're going. Take you know two, three minutes and just check the forecast where you're going. Hey, Plan I got to interrupt one thing. Go ahead. Remember last week talking about your safety tip of the week, and we talked about this. This is kind of part of the, part of the weekly update. You didn't talk about my windshield wiper, my tail, and everybody, yeah. everybody laughed at me and everything. But I went and got that fixed. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Proud to Walmart. Proud got, I got myself a new uh, Rain-X did you do it wiper. I did. I didn't Good. ask for help. Didn't even ask the guy in the maintenance <laughs> shop for help. Good. Good. So. Yeah. So, yeah, that's important. We're in this kind of weather to have, you know, proper safety. You know, you look at this week. We had a stra- all those... Um, the cars and trucks were stranded on the Interstate 95 in Virginia. Disaster mess. But uh, it tells you, you better pack, you know, well, for, those, for those occasions. It's interesting that you brought that up, and it was a good time in here because my safety tip of the week. Oh, okay. And actually, it kind of came from a driver last year that mm-hmm. brought it to my attention. Basically, it's it, real, real easy. If you fail to plan. Yep, okay. Plan to fail. fail yeah. And so basically here, I just do a little slide, you know, a couple pictures here that Granite can throw. You know, I mean, it, it'll make you, you know, you don't predict the weather. You're mm-hmm. not checking the weather, so you didn't plan accordingly. You can run out of fuel. You know, yep. you're not planning you, your fuel stops accordingly or anything such as that. And it just, it, it becomes a burden. Yep. So it's simple as that. You know, if you fail to plan, you need to plan to fail. Well, you know, we talk about that. We always say, you should always have a travel bag. Like, how do I always have I always have that travel bag, you know. Some warm clothes in it, you know. You never know what's going to happen. Just so. that change of clothes. Yeah, a big change of clothes is huge. And I know we talked about that a couple months back, but I can't stress that enough. Yeah, after you see what just happened down there in Virginia, yeah, right? For yeah. sure. Yeah. So, so um, you know, continue on the weekly update. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about. Ooh, we had uh, some new vacation policy coming we did. in effect this we week. We did. We did talk about our last uh, episode that we had some big things coming for 2022 and boom, right off the right gate. Right out the gate. Right right so what it really, you know, it boils down to is, um, you know, I guess the big, the key is uh, for for those, um, Patent Warehousing has a new pilot plan, so does Watson Town Trucking. Um, I guess you'd say the big key elements is after five years, you're getting the three, three, getting weeks, three, weeks. three weeks vacation. Um, you know, at Watson Town at 15, you're getting four. So there were some good things. And uh, again, um, we were just excited, you know, time off with family That's is key, about, you yeah. know, and, and uh, you know, I think it's just, again, new things coming, great things coming. We want you to have that quality time at home. You know, we want you to come here, work hard day in, day out. But when you have the opportunity, let's go enjoy it, right? That's right. Work hard, play hard. Yeah. You know, enjoy your family time. So it was great. I mean, when it came out, we and I know we discussed it before it was released, mm-hmm. and uh, everything's positive. About yeah, it. everything's it's, positive. it's great. It's great. So, and uh, actually, the first group uh, this week in class was mm-hmm. where they were kind of floored by how yeah. quick they can gain family time. Yeah. Really, that's what you know. Mm-hmm. It's vacation time, but it's family time. You know, so I, uh, definitely. Yeah, I think if we're, Great you know, we're asking them to work hard, here's a re- little reward Absolutely. to enjoy some time off for, for sure. all that hard work. So um, other than that, I do have one thing. Uh, you know, uh, there was a um, last the December, last week of December, we had to do, we talked about North Carolina. Mm. So part of that, if, and I'm trying to do a visual here. So take your um, candy jar and you have a bunch of Skittles inside of it. Right? His boss again. <laughs> so uh, you have all those Skittles in there. Well, we were tasked with this job down in the, our warehouse to organize all those Skittles by almost like color, right? right, right. But you don't, you don't have any more space to do it, right? So it's cu- quite a challenge, right? So it's the way I kind of look at it, taking Skittles in the jar. But anyway, so we had to do this inventory and we need a lot of support. And I know, um, you know, we, we, we reached out to our other locations for, for extra support. And I just want to recognize, uh, uh, from them, and Grant's gonna throw up a picture. But Casey, Ashley, Bill, Roman, Josh, and Nick all went down from Dublin, awesome. and our uh, our our famous duo of Alex and River. <laughs> of course, they were they went down as well. But without that kind of teamwork and support, uh, you know, that's uh, that goes a long way. So For I just sure. want, again want to give them a huge shout out. It was uh, well received by. By our customer, we got thumbs up uh, for the work that we did, and and we pulled it off. We we were able to do the impossible almost, so yeah. which is pretty cool. So um, cool. other than that, I'm good. Great work, guys. Uh, yeah, so I guess that'll uh, basically. You've got uh, mail. Oh. 
<laughs> There's a blast from yeah, the past. We got mail. So we got mail. So it looks like uh, uh, oh. we, I might have a visitor here. Yeah, yeah, you had a secret, almost like your own little secret. Yeah. Santa, huh? So the uh, the other day I didn't realize this. I, I came in here. Uh, uh, one, uh, one day's off and brought my daughter over and I think she got on the computer she here. She stuck on there, so. And she, nice uh, work, one Cam. The, yeah, Cam. So here's your shout-out. Here's your shout-out, yeah. Cam. Good, Good job. Way to get on. Good job. <laughs> so, so thanks. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, let's go back to another great segment. You know, we talk about old blasts in the past, but we haven't done one of these in a while. It has been a while. And uh, this guy, though, I mean, he's he's, he's one of a kind. Like yeah. I even tell him, you know, he's a ne unique individual. Uh, he's, uh, he's a lot of fun. Yeah. Every time he's around, you always know he's here. He's got one of them... Well, well, we'll just wait. Right. Right. All right. Well, hey, Kenny. Good Brandon, to see you, man. It's a pleasure. Yeah, so you always put a smile <laughs> on my face, man. You're definitely uh, a unique individual. Well, you once told me I would tell him myself, so don't, don't ask me the question. I'm going to get myself in trouble. You know what I mean? You once <laughs> told me that. That's okay. You're yeah. right. Yeah. You're right. But, uh, you know, so you were supposed to have, you're pretty excited. I'm, I'm excited to have you here today. But uh, you were excited to come through. You were supposed to come see me. At Thanksgiving. But you were. Yeah. You were. You I'm long haul. You were. Yeah. You're long haul. And, and we love it. And uh, you finally came through today. And what did you get today? I got a jacket, y'all. This is a real Carhartt. You know what I mean? I got 21 plus years driving. This is a real jacket. This is one of them flimsy things. You know what I mean? I'm going to wear this tomorrow. Proudly. I'm going to wear it tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to Isaiah tomorrow to California. Right, and there's snow out there, so I'm gonna wear this probably tomorrow. <laughs> so I got it just in time to hit the snow. Yeah, you did. You so know. tell us about Kenny. I'm a hard worker, man. I'm, I'm a reform alcoholic. I got 25 years sober, January 28th. Congratulations. You know, so um, if I'm not home, I'd rather drive. But in the truck, I don't feel like I got the um, BS. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, if I'm in the truck, I'm gonna go ahead and take off. Yeah, you know I mean, I'd rather do long haul. It's a great company. Yeah. You know, for guys who are watching, you know, they're consistent with their money. You know, if you mess up, you know what I mean, you don't get nothing. But if you mess up and they, and they check on it and you write, they pay you straight up. This is a great company. It's a good old boy company, but they bought the money. You do an honest day work, you get an honest day pay. That's right. That's right. You know, and I can't ask for no more than that. Yeah. You know, I came here from the oil field when it fell out. And we had put all the stuff in storage, two units in storage of my house. And I was on my last leg. My wife was living in the truck with me, you know, so I didn't know what to do. Right. I came here, and um, Ed hired me, you know what I mean, and um, I ain't looked back since. You know, um, I'm, used to making, I'm used to making money. I was a trainer for over nine years at Swift. I trained the oil field. So I got like 13 years training overall, but I, I lost everything. Mm. You know, and coming here, man, put, put me back on my feet again. One, one thing that I remember recalling our I'd say recent. You, you took the message to the beach. Oh, God, yes. You remember that? God, yes. And I told you to go up there to that restaurant. Oh, <laughs> Look. A couple different spots. Number one is, I'm going to tell my wife, I promise you, the beach. I've, I've been running for 21 years since 2000. Right? I had nothing to do with the beach. Never took it to the beach. I took it three years in a row now because of you, because of this job. Awesome. Well, we go to uh, Ocean, you, Ocean, we go to Ocean, Ocean, We go to City Mall. Well, I'm out four to six weeks all the time. Yeah. Uh, this I took off from um, I took off for about nine maybe maybe eleven days now. First time in the history I've been here I've been off this long. First time ever. Yeah, I mean my wife said I need you home for the holidays. She said I need a break. Yeah, it's famous. Yeah, but I'm going back out for another four six weeks though. That's yeah, famous. I mean yeah. you know. So but again, you know, as Chris and I always push, we're all about family. Yeah. You know, we love to have to see. You know, we love when the families come down. Yeah. You know, see your wife. She's always got a nice big smile. Oh on her heck face. yeah, man. So yeah, heck yeah. I, I, I love this job, man. Um. I don't always get along with my DM, but the same stuff that driver DMs go through. Yep. DM drivers always arguing all the time. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a normal stuff. It's nothing, nothing out the way. And me and him, we always, during the course of the day, I'll call him back, he'll call me back, and we work it out. And then it always works out. Oh, yeah. You know, and it's things I can't handle, you always mediate it. And you say, look, I can mediate it, but I ain't kiss nobody's ass. You're going to do it this way, whether you like it or whether you like it. <laughs> and that's, that's your biggest asset, man. I'm telling you. Good. That's Good. your biggest asset, man. You don't, you, don't, you don't mess around. That's your biggest asset. I can't express that enough. I straight it. shooters like straight shooters. Right. Well, you know uh, I mean? Before I release you out to head out west, well, you go home to see Mama first, right? She's in the car waiting for me. That was, the, that was on the phone. Ah, the heck, I should have had her come she, in. She's she in the car waiting. We, uh, we, I she, stop out she, went to, she went to the Walmart with me to stock the yeah. truck. She said, you know, she said, she wants to make sure I get the right food. She um, fed me ham. She made the ham. I, I, then she won't give me pork. 
I lay pork on like me, right? And the, and the whole spiral ham, I eat like two thirds of it. Man, I was even pissed. I just my, my, way the ham out. Then I got this big old headache, man. I'm sweating and I'm sick for two, three days, man. I'm going through it, man. You know, that's why I'm gonna give you ham. She says, you know, what I mean, getting no more ham. Right. Maybe next Christmas. Yeah, I mean, but you know, so but, it, yeah. th that's real. So uh, one question. Okay. We seem to be a common thing that we have people our guests on. If you went to an island, a remote island, tell me three things you take with you. My wife. One. No, oh, oh. Oh, no, that was some nasty stuff. I ain't gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> that was some nasty stuff. All right, my wife, um, uh, a remote island. Seems like nothing else is important. No, it ain't, man. What if I got my best friend? She had six, nine months to live 10 years ago. She's still here. I asked God for my best friend. I asked how he give it to me, man. That's my best friend. I got my best friend with me. I could do anything. You know what I mean? Do it up. No, no, the guy had my back corner, man. I could do anything, so man. So we'll sign you with one. Just yeah. your wife. That's my wife, man. All right, Kenny. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, man. Be safe out there. You're welcome, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I love Kenny. He is, I, I'm telling you, he's a, he always brings a smile to me. Yeah. You know, so I'll never forget, uh, you know, he, I got introduced Ken. Uh, he, he got a bulldog, and uh, him and his, you know, for his wife. Yeah. His, I think it was present, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's just a... That's how my, I remember, you know, that's when he started early and he told me about it. And I have bulldogs, so now we have that kind of connection we talk right. about. But one other thing I always notice about anytime he's around, he sounds like that uh, that actor. What's his uh, name from? Um, uh, from Major League. Yeah, but Major, then I always see him in commercials. Allstate. All, yeah, yeah, the Allstate. All state. Yeah. So, yeah. These days, you need more than just an insurance agent. You need an Allstate agent, someone who makes it their business to help protect you. That's Allstate, Stan. Are you in good hands? That's pretty neat. Yeah. That's pretty neat. <laughs> that does, that it does. It's very comparable. Very comparable. And a resemblance is uncanny. Yeah. So that's great. It's great. He's, but again, he's a great guy. You know, thanks for taking your time and sitting down yeah. here with me. Works sure. hard. You know, again, he's a yeah. road driver. Um, you know, just uh, goes out west and, you know, just lost for a while out there and comes home. <laughs> so it's nice to catch him. I love that Carhartt jacket too. Oh you know, yeah, uh, he loves it. It's they like, are nice jackets. They definitely yeah, are. Yeah, keep keep them warm. Five, keep five year, warm. Uh, right? Five, five years. years. Five years. Five years to get it. Yep. That's yep. awesome. So there you go. Um, trivia. Got? Oh, okay. Trivia. Whew. We, you know, we were uh, short last week with the the show, but this week we this are. This week we're gonna <laughs> extend it on a little bit. Here's uh. Answers from last week's trivia, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll roll into this week. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. What year was the first presidential election? Okay. Now this all all these that happened this week in time, just so everybody's aware. Mm -hmm. This basketball team played their first game on this day in 1927. Philadelphia 76ers. Close. Okay. Very close. Very close. And last but not least, what famous game show debuted on January 6, 1975? I think I know that one. It's not Alex Trebek's show. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> but that's all I got. All right. Well, hey, you know, uh, before we go, though, let's uh, um, this is shout great out to, to sponsors. sponsors, you know, the Patent Logistics Group, family companies. A lot going on. Just a lot going on. New Year. We're excited. Yeah, I mean, we tried to squeeze this. a lot in, but I think yeah. I think you and I are both super excited about this year coming yeah. up. So I mean, it's just hard. Week to... one, I mean, it'll yeah, it happens. Already so, uh, booming. So. A, lot of, a lot of good things. So, um, you know, one thing I do want to talk about. Uh, you know, we, we should have talked about it earlier, but flatbeds. So oh, I have seen some ads out there. We yeah. got some big opportunities. You have within questions. The, 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 you know, we're even we're, we're even some training going on if you mm -hmm. need it, but. Uh, there's a dedicated opportunity, um, and we don't use that word dedicated too often, but there is a, there's an opportunity where we want to grow a, a big fleet here uh, out of Milton, um, running flatbeds, um, you know, and so anybody that's interested, give us a shout out, you know, and uh, we, we, we can Or if you know anybody, anybody. Yeah. if you know anybody that does flatbeds, and you know that our flatbed division used to be a little relatively small, it's really growing, yep. it's expanding, so um, definitely reach out to Tony or myself or your, D or your DM, have them call one of us, you know, uh, your friend or whatever, family member, have them reach out to us and we'll get you all squared away and get lined up. So until next week. Be safe, enjoy your families. Take care.